Hello everyone, welcome into the review of the Wexford versus Offaly game, a game where Wexford win ultimately ran out winners one twenty two to twelve points, two goals to sorry to two goals and twelve points against Offaly. And look, I suppose in this game as well, probably Offaly's best performance of the league so far. They really kind of uh they put the it was the best account they'd given them themselves, albeit though against like a somewhat rested Wexford side. But for long periods of this game, I suppose up to the first fifty minutes, Offaly looked well in the game. They were they were winning for large parts of this game in the first half too, and then ultimately I suppose towards the end, Wexford started to bring on the subs. Lee Malcolm McGovern had a huge say when he came on. Connell Flood and Paddy Foley as well came on, and look, that experience just showed. And uh, I suppose yeah, their their kind of skill and their ability came on, and so look, it was just enough for Wexford to see over the line. So for Wexford, look, they continued their great run of form. That they uh they're still unbeaten in the league, one of the few teams in the league that still are just them and Cork, so and uh, Waterford as well, but the only team without a blemish in their on their card, including Cork. So uh, yeah, I think they'll be absolutely uh they'll be delighted with the with how the league's gone for them so far as well. And the, the thing from this game as well, they got to give some of the fringe lads that haven't been playing as much a bit of game time. Gavin Bailey got in for his first involvement. Connor Devitt got back in as well. He played very well. Oshin Foley, Connor Hearn, and then look, uh, McGuckin in, in the half forward line continues to play as well. So they're getting more kind of game time into these lads. They might be a little bit disappointed with look, they had to rely on the bench in the end. And you factor in kind of the scorers here as well. Where Connor had to hit a goal in 11 out of the 122 to so when whilst it was just kind of the original starters on the pitch they were very very reliant on him for scores Kevin Foley and Dio Keefe would probably deal or two so uh, they'll be a bit kind of disappointed that a few other lads didn't really step up to the extent that they probably wanted but look they, they got the lads on and uh and they got the result there as well. So from Wexford, this this guarantees some spot in the league semi-finals as well. That absolutely would have been the objective, I suppose, coming into it, probably beyond what what they what uh, Darry Egan probably expected, I suppose, from this side. They still have Lee Chin to come back in as well. Liam Ryan's been out for kind of a while too. So there's so much strength to come back in. And uh, I think both with their form at the moment and the way they're playing. They, they have a good chance of a, of a home semi-final as well. So, look, I think they'll, they'll take a bit of beating going forward as well. And, uh, yeah, just a great, great start for Darry Egan as manager. For Offaly, look, I think they'll take positivity from from the performance here. Albeit, though, it's not much kind of comfort knowing that next up they're going to face Limerick. So, uh, yeah, look, they, they were just unfortunate, I think, with the division they got in. If they were in the other division, they knew like we Leash versus Antrim played this weekend. They got the the relief of playing against each other. Unfortunately for Offaly, they had to play just established Division One teams this year. And for a team coming up, maybe it was a year too soon for them as well. And that they're just physically that little bit behind at the moment. But look, they gave a good account of themselves the weekend. And look, I think they'll be hoping to give a it's another strong performance against the Limerick. But I think, I I think even their own fans would be uh be quick to kind of. To, to suggest that look there'll be it would, it would take a bit of a miracle to get a result I think against Limerick they need to beat them to avoid that uh, relegation playoff and look I think they're going to be I think look just the objective has to be put in a strong performance against Limerick and then just go in against Antrim and give it your best shot in that game because look we know what happened with Antrim against Leash at the weekend where they didn't really deliver on the day so look I think Offaly will be hoping that maybe the Antrim won't be too far ahead of them I think and they'll be playing in John McDonough later on this year. So, um, yeah, look, they, that has to be the, the objective for them, is to target that game, go perform the next day out, and then be ready for the for the to face Antrim. And then, look, all their Division 1 hopes will be, line, will be on the line for that. Anyway, thanks, everyone, for, uh, for tuning in. And keep an eye out for future videos coming up and future reviews and games that have happened.